Hello everybody, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a blender render of your Minecraft skin for free. Let's get into it. So the first thing that you're going to want is this thing called MC Prep, and it basically makes it really, really easy to use Blender and like render your Minecraft characters. So just download MC Prep right here. And it should download like the zip file. And so then once you've downloaded that, go to Blender, Blender, just search Blender, and it's blend, blender.org right here. And then just press download Blender 2.920, and then download it. And it should just download right here. Okay, so now that we have Blender and MC Prep, just run the Blender and then go through the installation process. So double click it. And if you get this notification by Windows, press install anyways, it's completely safe. But since I already have it, I'm just going to press cancel, but you can just go through this and install Blender. So, once you're in Blender, you could just click on this cube and press delete. These are the basic controls. Press the middle button on your mouse, the scroll wheel button, to rotate. Hold shift, press the, and you press the scroll wheel button to pan. And that's basically it. And you can click on things and then press delete to get rid of it. To get into the camera, which is where you're going to be taking your photo or animation from, press zero on your number pad, and then you'll be in here. Then you can go in here, go to view, and lock camera to view. So you can do that. If you don't lock it to view, you'll just go out of the camera when you, whenever you try to move. So in order to install MC Prep, go to edit, edit, then go to preferences, then go to add-ons. So once you're here, just go into install, and then downloads, find the MC Prep. So right, I have it right here. And then it should install it. I actually already have it installed, so I'll just get rid of this. Okay, so now that you have it installed, go over here into the top right hand corner and click this little arrow and it'll bring you to here. Then go to MC Prep, go down here to Spawner, Mobs, and press Reload Assets. So once the assets are reloaded, you'll have almost like all of the different mobs in Minecraft. But if you just want to do your character, just pick player. If you have a slim character, then do player slim. So I clicked player and then press spawn player. And here you have a player. Right now, it looks really like gray and there's no texture. So up here, go to the second, the third level of viewport shading. And now there's texture on my player. And you probably want to put a, a skin on your player, right? So you just click on your player like this. And then, wait. You can do skin from file, desktop, or wherever you keep your skin, and then put in a skin. I'm just going to put in this skin, and then click the legs, skin from file, and do the same thing. Okay, I got it to work, I just had to do it a second time for some reason. Also, it's a good idea to just erase the eyes and mouth from your skin because in the editor, you'll be able to add eyes and mouth, as you can see here. But it looks like the eyes are really wonky right now. So in the top right hand corner, go to player arma, player.arma, then click bones character 
and then you'll be able to move the bones. So go over here to your controls, then press move, and you'll be able to move down the eyebrows, or click here, and then you can move down the eyes. So I'm just going to make the eyes like this. I think looks good. And then over here, you can click on like the pupil and then make it like that. I don't really know how to change the eye color. So yeah, it's just blue. I'll skip when I'll skip to when I'm done with this. Okay, so I've gotten the eyes into a position that I think looks pretty good. So now, to position the arms, you can just do that or go to the rotate, and then you can rotate the arms or make this like go up slightly. And you could basically just configure the entire body to how you want it. So like raise the fingers like that or if you want over here there are some controls and these are for the legs so you could like change how much the legs are bent and so say this is the character that I like then I can go over here in the menu into this like camera or TV, go to film, then check the transparent box. Now, go into the camera, go to view and make sure the camera to view is on. Then just position it to where you'd like it. Just so you know, all of these stuff like the controls and everything aren't going to be showing in the rent in the final render so now all you have to do is do object or at do add mesh plane click on the plane go over here and then just add new and make this emission set the color to 100 or whatever or the strength to 100 or whichever, however much you want, however bright you want it to be. And then just position it so that it's like out of the shot, but it still looks pretty good in terms of lighting. So I think that looks good. And if you want, you can go into the third level of viewport shading and see how the lighting looks. Hello, this is editing me here, and I'd like to explain the lighting situation that I was having. So, instead of making a object, a, a mesh plane, you just have to go down to light, and then do an area. Then from here, you can move it like this, and you can make it bigger if you want. Also, if you go down into this here, this tab, opposite data properties, you can change the powers to make it brighter and not as bright. Thank you. Um, okay. I don't really understand why the lighting is so dark, but um, if you have a solution, leave it in the comments. And so then once you have it here, just press F12 on your keyboard and it'll make a render. And so this is my final result. And so then in image, go to save as, and then go to wherever you want to save it. I'll save it to my desktop, put in a name, and then save as image. Then if you want to save the project file, just do control S and then pick where you want to save it. And now I have it right here and I can open it in my favorite photo editing software, paint.net. And I think I'm just going to make it glow a bit because 
the lighting didn't really work. Like that. Thank you for watching. Bye.